before moving on, there's one last thing I want to speak to you about with regards to links. There are certain times where you have a lot of information on one of your pages. And you may have even encountered this situation in an online environment with someone else's website. They've got tons and tons of content on the page and you don't want to continuously be scrolling up and down, back and forth, all over the place. And sometimes you can provide links for people to jump to a different point on a specific page. So for example, I provided you with a sample file. If you go to your Dreamweaver file open, you can browse to the, if you've put it on your desktop, the practice folder for chapter two. And the practice folder that came with this video. Chapter 2 has a page called anchors.html. So what I've done here is I've just got some very basic H2 headlines and some paragraphs that go with them and they go all the way down. And I've also added these little one paragraph up at the top which are going to provide the links to jump to our different content. So how do we go about doing this? first thing I'd like you to do is to just copy the name of this first link. So let's just press Command C or Control C if you're on a PC. Then position your cursor right at the beginning of where you want to jump to. So right here I'm going to say insert a named anchor from my common inserts. And if I do that you can just paste in the name Lorem. Click OK. And what you'll see is this little invisible element called an anchor. If you hit the live view, you'll see that that anchor disappears when you're in the browser. So don't worry about that icon right now. Let's continue. We're going to jump from this link. So I'm going to copy it. And I want to jump to this point. So I will name this anchor with the same name as the link. All right. Then I want to do the same thing with this. So I'll just select this particular word. I'll scroll down to where we want to jump to and I'll come here and say insert an anchor. We'll put it right there. Notice it's really not doing much of anything but here you'll see a name and then ID in that a tag right there. And I'll do the last one just by inserting my anchor right there. Okay well inserting the anchors is only the first step. That's not going to do anything for us until we create the link from lorem to the lorem right here. Now that's not really much of a jump so we don't really need that but here's how we could do it. You could just press the pound symbol and then enter the name or you could even use the point to file. Check it out. I want that link to link to right here and you see that? It's the pound symbol and lorem. If I select this I could do the same. I want it to jump to this point. Let's do it for this one. I'll highlight that scroll down here and we'll say let's jump to this point and it does come here and we can say let's jump to that point so now we've got links all the way across now this is not really going to work until you preview it in your browser so let's do just that I'm going to save the document and notice I purposely here have made my page smaller by taking my browser window at the bottom here and just dragging it this way. You'll really get to see you know, the influence of long text if you have this happening. So look, if I press on lorem, it jumps to lorem. That's great. Now I'd have to scroll back to get to the top. If I press on the second link, it jumps to the second headline. Third link jumps to the third headline fourth to the fourth. And notice it doesn't go right to it because it can't. It's, it's only going to go to the bottom of the page here, right? But as you can see, that's a great thing to do. Now, you may have also seen other websites that have a back link jumping back to the top. Just to show you how you could make that happen, if you wanted to, you'd have to have like a uh, little letter here that says top or something like that. And I would select it and I would have to enter a link or an anchor where we want it to go. So let's make the anchor first. I'll come right over here just at the top and I'll insert an anchor called top. That's all. Just like that. And if we want to return to the top, all we got to do is to link to top. So I'm going to copy that now, control C, and we're going to put it at the bottom 
control V of every paragraph. Let's try that again. Control V. And I'll even put it at the bottom of this one. So if we were to save this, Control S or Command S, and preview in our browser, now take a look. We've got tops on these things. So look, if I jump to the third one, we could read the paragraph, go all the way through it, and if we want to jump back to the top, click on that, bang, takes us right to the top. So that's how you can work within Dreamweaver and use it to create what's called anchored links.